Why is he not picking up his calls, eh? I wanted to be sure my informant was right about this, this witch being a cheat. So I deceived that I was traveling to Water Court on a business trip. <laughs> Lo and behold, this, this demon fell! The same hotel my informant told me is been seeing her with her boyfriend. Hi. Playing love around a married woman. Oh, this is where I am. I've never been here before. I've yeah, never been here before. I'm you, you, here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm where is the wedding ring? Where is it? Have you seen? Have you seen it? God will punish you. You are a cheat. Wait, all lies. You, hey, I hope you have busy condom. If you give me a time, I swear I will, I will, I will finish your family. You just. Have you me wrongly? Have you me wrongly? That that what? Have you catch you? Wait, that I did not catch you red and then in this hotel with your boyfriend or what? Please beg him for me. Sir, but sir, sir, you both you can quietly settle this amicably. No, 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 no! I will not settle anything with this witch. Give me, give me that catch you! It's not! God will punish you! Honey, please, I'm sorry, don't It will not be well with you! Your generation will not die the back! It's not! Honey, please, not to calm down! You can't Madam, you are a disgrace to married women! Hey, madam! She's a cheat! She's a witch! She's a demon! You don't deserve me! You don't deserve me! God will punish you! It's not! It's not! God will punish you! This woman does not deserve me! She doesn't deserve me one bit. I am a good man. I need a good woman, but she, 
A cheat! That's all you are! I've never cheated on you before, God knows! I've never cheated on you! I've at the bar all afternoon, just as my informants told me that you come see your boyfriend. You came! No, you came! I don't know what you think. I don't know what you think. I can't explain. You are a I swear I can't explain. I will, I will I slap you! I can't explain. Idiot! Please don't go! You are a cheat! That's who you are, a cheat! What you, think, you know swear. what? If you come <laughs> close to me, I swear to come, I will beat you, you black fool! That's who you are! You even came to the hotel with my car to see your boyfriend. I don't have a my boyfriend. My God will punish you. I don't have the a God boyfriend. I serve will punish you. Baby, I don't, have a boyfriend. don't touch me! I will kill you! I've never cheated. I've never the God I serve will punish you. It will never be with your family. It will, you, will, you will die! Idiot. Who's this? Hello? Baby, please. Baby, listen to me. Hello, General. Babe, why aren't you picking up my calls? I just wanted to... Please, please, there's an emergency, please. Don't talk to me. Turn around. There is an emergency. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, sorry, sorry about that, General, sorry. I have to go now, please, I'll call you back. Yes, yes, please. Thank you. What is he saying? What's the meaning of this rubbish? Wait, why did this one even bring me here? Honey, to see your boyfriend. Honey B, I don't have a With boyfriend. my car! Honey B, I don't have a God boyfriend. God will punish you. God, God, God will punish you, idiot. <laughs> Stupid woman. God will punish you, idiot. I mean, I got a card. Don't leave Man. me, please. No, no, please don't leave me out. Please don't leave me, please. Are you? <laughs> Get out! Get out! You are stupid. Fool. Fool. Honey, please don't leave me, please. I'm innocent, God knows I'm innocent. I didn't come to see any man. Please, honey, please don't leave me. Please, please, beg him for me, please. Honey, please, please, don't leave me, please. I'm innocent. God knows I'm innocent. I didn't come to see any man. Where are you? I'm just coming from the bar and you are nowhere to be found. Honey, honey, listen, I am so sorry, okay? Something dangerous just happened. Mm. No, what sort of nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? I cancelled all my appointments because of you. Why are you talking to me like that? Why are you this insensitive? Why are you this heartless? Honey, please just relax, okay? It wasn't intentional. Something happened and... And um, I was about coming upstairs to meet you, and when I love you, man, amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Thank you for all you've done, Pastor. Thank you for everything. You know. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support, Pastor. Without you, I don't, I don't know. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for always standing by me. 
I don't know what I would have done without you. I don't, I don't know. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for your advices. Thank you for your care, your concern. Thank you. I'll be fine now. I'll be fine, Pastor. It's, it's really, it's really difficult for me now, but I don't have any choice. I have to be strong. I'm a man. I'm a man. I have to be strong. Please, Pastor, remember me in your prayers. I don't want to die before my time. I don't want, I don't want a woman to kill me before my time. Please. I need your prayers. Thank you. Oh yes, I, I, I will turn off my phone before I sleep. Please tell mommy to also pray for me. It's, it's very tough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, honey bee, my darling husband. I beg you. I beg you with everything you hold dear in this world. Just give me a chance to explain to you why I went to that hotel, okay? It's not <gasps> what you think. I've never cheated on you before. I've never been to that hotel in my life. I only went there because I, 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 I was told. Do, 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 do you know what I remember? Why looking at your face now? Your face in church. Eyes closed. Hands going up and down. <laughs> Speaking in tongues. La ba shakla ta ya ba ya ba da. Acting like a fuck in Jamaica just giving the trumpets to blow. Bloody cheat. Honey B, I'm not a cheat. I've never cheated on you. Honey B, I've never cheated on you. God is my witness. Please just give me a chance to explain to you why I went to the hotel. Please, I beg you, please. <laughs> what is she really doing in that hotel? A sort of ungodly hour. She asked me what I was doing in that hotel instead of in Port Harcourt. She sounded like someone who had concrete information that I was at that hotel at that time. She even came straight to the bar. That showed she had some information on me. But how and from whom? Or is she really cheating on me? God, I should have allowed her to speak there and then. That would have been a deadly mistake. How could I be this foolish to the point that I did not, I did not even bother to know why she was there at the hotel. God. Mary, my dear, I can tell you're hurt. You don't deserve to be hurt. I'm so sorry. Come in. I'm sorry I missed my calls last night. I was already asleep. But then I called you back this morning and you didn't answer. So I decided to come back and see how you're doing. I hope you dealt with that silly girl very well. Felicia, why do you want my husband? I, I don't understand. I mean, why do you want my husband? I heard you clearly, Mary, but I do not understand what you're talking about. Can Felicia, you? you set me up! 
You are the informant who gave my husband the information, the false information that he used to accuse me. Oh, oh, you want me thrown out of my marriage? You can come in as a second wife, right? What? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about, Mary? What are you saying? Because I don't get it. You know, I did what? You know, you finally hit me. I figured all your plans out. You set me up to go to that hotel so that my husband can catch me and divorce me on adultery claims and then marry you. Oh, stop it! Yes, stop it! What nonsense are you rambling about? I did nothing of the sort! You did nothing? You lied to my husband that I'm a promiscuous wife <laughs> and that I cheat on him each time he's out of town. And in a bid to cover up your lies and prove to him, you made me go to that hotel last night at that time of the night, Felicia. So it will appear like, like I was there to meet a man. That is not right. true. That is simply not true. I caught your husband at that hotel with another woman. That was why I called you for you to come and see things Liar! Like you Why? You're such a pathetic liar. If there was any woman in that hotel with my husband, it would be you! You! But finding your way into his life to make you his new bride, right? Mary, Mary, what is wrong with you? Why are you concocting outrageous lies against me? I am telling you the truth. Believe me. Believe you? I did believe you. You were my best friend. I trusted everything you said. But you're full of lies and deceit. Oh, you think you can say all those lies to my husband and you will make him throw me out of this house? You must be out of your damn mind. Again! Again, Mary, that is not true. I caught him at that hotel last night. That was why I tipped you off. What are you saying? Have you gone crazy? You are horrible. You are a horrible friend. Get out of my house. What? Get out of my house. What? Get out of my house. Really? Out. Okay. Out. out of my house. Fine, fine. Get out of my it's house. It's fine, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Shameless Jezebel. I thought you were my friend. Fine. I'll yeah. see you close to my husband. Everyone, anywhere close to my husband. I will make sure I hurt you. Out of my house. I'm going. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Trust me, please. You're, you're lying. You were with another woman. No, I am. Yeah, well, of course you were. Don't even try to deny it. Oh, Jesus. You were calling me general because you were with someone else. No, no, that, that's not what happened. You referred to me as pastor too. Darling, I am sorry. You're right. Whatever you want to say now, you're right. Oh, please, forgive me. My wife showed up yesterday. I didn't, I didn't know how... Oh, shut up. You're lying. You are a pathetic liar. Hey, baby, listen, I, I, I... You are lying. God, Just stop it already. I, I... You, you left me lonely yesterday, so I had to keep myself busy. He was my alternative. He's the barman. All right, let me get, let me get this straight. You brought another man into the room I paid for. Not just any man, the bar guy. The burger that served me drinks last night, that called me sir, you put him into my room? My dear, you're done dressing. This is your, you did a good job. Ah, ah, you're so good. Take your balance. <laughs> you, you should, oh my goodness. You shouldn't be beating him. You should be thanking him. I mean, he kept me company. Yeah, at least one one. It's a draw now. 
Next time, you won't go around with other women and leave me hanging. Yeah. Uh, anyways, my transport. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I done? God. Jesus didn't ask you to go and meet another woman. What are you doing? Where is my transport money? Where do you think you're going to? Madam, I won't waste your time. I was here last night and I saw a family friend in a compromised position. So I, um, you know, I just really need to prove that he was actually here and in such position. Are you asking me to give you our security data? Exactly. I can pay for that. The man inside the claim, is he your husband or your boyfriend? So that I will know if you are qualified to have the tape or not. And besides, you are supposed there's a form you are supposed to fill. So you have to sit down why I possess the form for you. Here, take. Um, the man you want to see, has he attacked your South Gate before? What? What a silly question. Look, no, madam, madam, please just get the tapes. Please, I beg you. My friend is in trouble. She thinks I set her up to destroy her marriage and then take over her husband. Please, that clip is just about the only thing that can clear my name. I'm sorry you failed the interview. But, but I just gave you money. No, you didn't give me money. Do you have an evidence to that? Sorry, the CCTV camera, they are not working. Just put that there to scare tips away. Now that we have told you our secrets, don't come here to come and rob us. You're a rogue supervisor. Madam! Madam! Oh! Where do you think you're going? Eh? You want to abandon me again like last night? Why is my transport... Out! Where's my transport money? Where's my tra where's my transport money? Give me my transport money. It's not fair what you're doing. Give me my money. to just stay at work and prepare reports for the auditors. Yeah, that's why I'm coming late. Please come and pick me up. Jesus Christ, what are you talking about? Why are you asking for the, for the impossible? What are you saying? What is impossible? I'm saying come and pick me up. I'm tired. Look, don't get me upset. I, I, sh I shouldn't get you upset? Jesus Christ. Is that a way for you to apologize for sleeping with a bad man. Is that it? I am tired. There are no buses here. I'm waiting. I can't stand for too long. Come and pick me up. Um, Kletus, I... Can I talk to you later? Oh, no, no, sure, sure. Dad, can I have some juice? Oh, my love, come, come. Um, I'm almost done cooking, okay? Just don't eat, okay? Right. But why are you cooking when mom is inside? Um... Oh, I see. Your wife is there. Right? Why don't you go to the dining and sit? 
Daddy will serve you shortly. Hmm? Okay. Hey, I love you. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, Cletus. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you in thirty minutes. Let me just let me finish what I'm doing. Yeah, sure. You know what I'll do? I will disturb you with calls non-stop. If you don't want that, you better come pick me up. Thank God I even have your wife's number. I will just call her and cause trouble. Come pick me up. I'm waiting for you. Ah, thank you, eh? Okay. Eh, uh, ah! Cynthia! Why is that place scattered? Would you go arrange it very well? Ah, uh, what is wrong with you? Am I the one that's supposed to do everything for you? Hello? Hello, Mom. Mom, I don't feel so good. You say you are sick. Have you gone to the hospital to check whether it's a typhoid or malaria or even pregnancy test? Um, I've been having this nagging headache and my BP is very high. I'm just calling you so that if anything happens to me or if I die, just please make sure that my kids are okay and they are well taken care of. What are you talking about, Mary? Is your husband not yet back from his journey for him to take you to the hospital? <laughs> Actually, Mom, he didn't travel. It's so difficult for you to understand that my wife showed up unexpected. Just shut up. You're just a pathetic liar. Oh, you think I don't know you were with some other girl? What? Yeah, you think I don't know you have numerous girlfriends. Jesus. Anyways, what do I care? So long as you keep taking care of me and giving me anything I want. Really? Mm, really. So how do you expect the barman to look at me each time I go to the hotel? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care how he looks at you. Neither do I care how he looks at me. And if he ever tries to look at me in a way I don't deem right, I will give him a dirty slap. God. What Just kind? drive, I'm tired. What kind of woman are you? A perfect woman. A perfect oh, woman? Yes. Why are you driving the car like a snail? Just move already. Can you just move the car? Move. Cheat. Bloody cheat. We escaped an accident this afternoon. Because I was lost in thoughts. I was thinking of all the accusations. The harsh words. Our broken marriage. <sighs> Do 
Benson, I know that you don't trust me anymore. But I'm telling you the truth. I have never cheated on you before. And I never will. I know that this whole thing is just a setup between you and Felicia to throw me out of this marriage and legalize your affairs. She's my best friend, for Christ's sake. My best friend is who you want now. Pensy. She's not even prettier than me. Neither is she even more intelligent than me. So what the hell do you see that I don't have? What? What is that? I can't believe it. The two people who I trusted with everything could betray me like this. <laughs> Um, Sam, hello. Wait for me in the car. Okay. As a result of the incident you told me yesterday, I have decided to drive the kids to school henceforth. I don't want you to kill my children for me. What is wrong with you, Felicia? Why are you standing in my way? I don't know the lies you told, Mary, but here are the things I know. One, I saw you on Sunday evening in that hotel with another woman while you claimed to be on a business trip outside the States. Two, I am not interested in you and never will be. Now go back to your house and tell your wife, Mary, that I'm not interested in having an affair with you. All right? What an infantry. Now will you get out of my sight before I lose it? Not until you tell your wife that I never planned to set her up. Confess to her. What an audacity. <laughs> Can you imagine that I should confess to my wife as who that you are? Also to you. You have been the one influencing my wife all this while and corrupting her to misbehave in her husband's house, right? You are a cheat. That's what you are. Admit it. You want to create enmity between Mary and I just so you can hide the truth? Get out of my sight now. I am not going anywhere. Don't make me lose it. I am not going. Don't make me lose I it. I am! Sam! <laughs> oh, I, I see you guys are going to school, right? How, how are you guys? Good morning. You're going to school? Yes. Nice. Always be a good boy, Sam, okay? Learn from your mom. She's a better person than your daddy will ever be, okay? Have a good day. And Benson! Oh, Benson. You will hear from me. Yes, please. Okay, don't worry. Uh, I'll just go to their school and pick them up. And then I'll proceed from there. No, I can't inform her because she will give me reasons not to come. And she'll also tell my mom and I don't want that. Okay, if I just show up at her door, she will know she won't have the face to send me back. Um, I'll call you back, someone's at my door. Oh. 
Why are you looking at me like that as if you saw a ghost? No, Mom, you didn't tell me you were coming now. I didn't know you were coming. Oh, Mom, I have to send radio message or announcement or even send a telegram to you that I am coming to my own daughter's house. Was there no? Do I have to fill a form before seeing you? Eh? Mom, I just, I just need my sanity back. I, I, it's getting crazy over here. Your sanity. This is where your sanity is. And this is where you are going to get your sanity. Okay, now, yeah. Me, Agua Gongi. Benson. Nezuzu, wali nunu, nonzuzu. Aga, buyose. Kwa Don't agree for anybody to spoil your joy in this house. Don't agree. Don't agree at all, at all. Okay, now, yeah. Kwa chili dem. Eh? Oh, mom, he's going to say that I brought my mother to come and fight him. Also? Also? Who am I going to fight for if not for my own daughter? Eh? Look, today, Benson is going to tell the truth about everything that he has been doing to you. I will not tolerate all these things from him again. Take your bag inside, take my bag inside too. Thank you, my mother. Oh, my oh, oh, yes, my mother. I am here know. for you. Your yes. mother is here. I'm at your back. Oh, my no. Bye, bye, bye. I am my mother. 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 I will put pepper inside his eyes. I will show him that I am Mary's mother. It's just he's picking stones while losing the diamond. Yeah, is it worth it, my friend? Claire. Claire. What are you saying? I came to pick my kids from school. I can't leave them to come and buy you groceries. Why don't you get them after work? What are you saying? Why are you tormenting me? Huh? Why are you doing this to me? I told you what happened that night. Why can't you forgive me? You slept with the barman. I forgave you. Why, 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 why is it so difficult for you to forgive me? Hello? Hello? <sighs> she hung up on me. This is serious. Mary has never tried this to me before. Like, how did she get a number to be threatening me with, with, with calling her? How? Uh, yes, hello, Miss Martina. Good afternoon. Please, uh, something just came up. Could you please help me keep the kids till later this evening? I'll come pick them up after I'm done with what I'm doing. Yeah, I will stay long. I will stay long. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Whatever your husband told you is a lie, Mary, please don't believe him. He's trying to save himself by destroying us, our friendship. What were you doing at the hotel at that time of the night? I, I was there for a business meeting. Oh, really? A business meeting? What sort of business meeting takes a fashion stylist to a hotel at that time of the night on Valentine's Day? Stop being dumb, would you? Listen, Mary, if I wanted to take over your husband, trust me, there are several ways to do it without having to set you up. And I would have done that years ago. Get out. Get out! Mary, why would I come pleading with you if I wanted to take over your husband? Would you think about this? Felicia! Get out of my house now! Oh, what? The dogs barking down will not allow me to have my rest! Good afternoon, Mama. Felicia? Oh, it's you. Ah, Felicia, do you remember the last time I came to visit my daughter, I brushed to your fashion store to collect some clothes. And I left 150 Naira balance with you, do you remember? 
Yes, Mama, that was a year ago. Oh, good. That was when I took you like my own daughter. Huh? I want you to pick up your calculator and calculate how much that money would have yielded for me if I had put it into my sachet water business. Eh? You see, that was the sacrifice I did for you. And then now you finish her. You had the guts to want to snatch my own daughter's husband. Mama, 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 that is not true. Mama, that's not. I, Are you Mama, mad? How dare you yell at me? Eh? I'm asking you. Who? You even dropped your bag. That you want to fight me? No, ma. No, no, Mama. Get ready. Mama, please. Get ready. Because get out of my house. house. Mama, Mama, please. I'm going. I'm going. I no. can't go do this. Ah, please, please, Mama, I'm please. Get out. Please. Get out. Get out. Why are you tormenting me? You cheated on me. You cheated on me? Mm. You brought in a bad guy to sleep in the room I paid for. The guy that calls me sir, just served me drink. What could be more humiliating than that? You left me hanging. What could be more humiliating than that? You were with another woman, in between her arms. Look, it was my night. Even your wife was not supposed to stop you. Claire, mm. do not bring my wife into this. Don't. Oh. If she was that good, you won't be crawling in my bed and putting your thick head in between my ties. If you were so good, you would have been the wife and not the side chick. Now you're insulting me. Hmm? Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Hello, brother. Good afternoon. Just disgusting. Hello. Good afternoon. Benson. How are you and your family? I'm doing fine. My family's doing okay. Doesn't know what he wants. Benson, your wife called me some hours ago. What is going on? Where's that coming from? You want to end your marriage to marry your wife's friend. I trust your wife to tell me the truth, then I trust you to do the same. Look, brother, it's not what you think, okay? It's not what you think. Not like what? You and her friend set her up just to have a reason to kick her out and settle him together. Quit that nonsense plan. Return to your I wife and make a mess. I can't do it. I can't do it. She'll divorce me if I tell her the truth. Divorce you? What nonsense are you talking about? She loves you and wants you back. Look, it's, it's, it's complicated. It is. Okay, so you mind simplifying it then? Okay, fine, fine, I'll tell you. Adult, adultery is a strong ground for divorce. If I tell her the truth, she'll have evidence in court and I'll lose my marriage. I don't want that to happen. So, she was right. You were sleeping with her friend. And whatever nonsense you are planning with mm, her friend, no. return to your wife. My dear, thank you. I wanted to teach her a bitter lesson. Foolish girl like her. Mom, I'm, I'm just tired. The emotional torture is unbearable. Hey, Jimo. Give him one man. Why are you thinking so foolishly? Anna Wagi Singi, Quachile, Quachile, stand ya giddy bam. Gain us some emotional torture. Eh? 
Really? Beckham Wagi, your husband is playing games with you. He is trying to frustrate you out of your house so that he can bring in another wife. Can't you see that? He is not filing a divorce because he knows that he is not telling the truth. Let me tell you. What I am telling you is that you should try and get a concrete proof against him so that we can turn the situation against him. But how, mom? How? Why are you asking me this kind of foolish question? Why the dumb question? Eh? Eh? Make sure you catch him and Felicia red-handed. Go through all his tests so that we can have a good proof and everything will be turned against him. Get us some how. Eh? Mary. Ma? Um, yes, I've heard you, Ma. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it. I just, I just hope it doesn't boomerang. Ah, good. Ah. <laughs> Look at my children! Hey, baby. Ah, you're all welcome. <laughs> Where is your father? He turned around. He said he had things to do. All right, darlings, come and give mommy a hug. How was school today? Fine. Mm. All right, let's go in and take off your clothes and get ready for lunch, okay? Excuse me, mommy. It's okay. <laughs> let, me, let me help you out with this. She's a kind teacher. She takes her time to teach. Mm, I like that. <laughs> Mom, did I tell you that we saw Auntie Felicia in the morning on our way to school? She heard that. She did what? Where was that? On the second street. That's it, she's insane. Is she insane? She doesn't look insane to me. Yeah, me too. Yes, she is actually insane. Mom! Hmm? Mary, are you alright? Um, yes, Mom, I'm not fine. Um, guys, let's eat up, okay? We'll talk about Auntie Felicia some other time, okay? Benson, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Mama. I'm fine. I waited to see you last night, but it seems as if you came home late. Yes, I came back very late and tired, so I had to go to bed straight. I will be leaving for home. Please, can we have a talk? Mama, please not now. I'm already late for work. Benson, I can't wait. It's just for a few minutes. Mama, I hope why you want to see me is not connected to that promiscuous woman in there. Because I am not interested. Eh. Yes, Mama. Okay. Then you fight for a divorce. And you pack your things and leave her house for her. I should pack my things and leave her, my house for her. Yes. You are the one that is tired of the marriage. And you are flirting with Felicia. Huh? Mama, did she tell you what she was doing in a hotel by 11.30 p.m.? She told you that. A married woman. You framed her. You framed her. You are a liar. You framed her. So there is nothing you will tell me that will, that, 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 that will change anything for, for, for me. So come down, let us talk. Oh, you are winding the windscreen on me? Hey, Benson, you are leaving me? You will come and meet me in this house. I will be waiting for you.
I am still praying. What will it take for you to leave my husband? I am still praying. That is not the answer to the question I asked. Fine. If that's what you want to hear, yes. And what it would take to leave him alone? An end to your stupidity. <coughs> oh! How dare you! <coughs> How dare you! I can think of. Not while you're still standing in my shop. Now get out. Think about it, woman. If you were such a good wife, why would your husband cheat on you? You're here for business. Your business is your husband, the community dick. Keep him home and between your thighs. And that's a full time job. This is not the end. It's only the beginning. And I'll make sure I crush you, Felicia. That's a promise. Get out. Out. Get out. Just get out of my shop. She didn't believe me. She didn't believe me. God, this is ridiculous. I'm very fine. I, I was just doing exercise. Hey. I hope my exercise did not disturb your sleep. Should I go upstairs? I, no, 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 no. I, I was even waiting for you. We need to talk because I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, Mama. Her oh. Benson, what is going on between you and my daughter? Why are you treating her this way? Eh? Mama, are you saying what she did was right? My daughter didn't do anything. You were the one that set her up. Just simply because you want to bring in another woman. Benson, you that fed for my own provision shop. You have become rich and you have the mind to want to bring another woman into her house. Mama, what was she doing in the hotel by that time of the night? Because what? you sent her to be there. You sent her to be there because your plan is that you withdraw her out of this house so that you bring in another woman. <sighs> Let me tell you, Benson. She is not going anywhere. She has come to stay. Whether she's standing, whether she's sitting, whether she's sleeping, that is what she is in this house. Let me tell you, if you are tired of living in this house, I will not leave my house, Mama. I won't go anywhere. If she wants to leave, let her leave. Wait, Mama, wait, hold on a second. Instead for you to condemn your daughter, you're encouraging her. Is that what you're doing? Are you encouraging her? Like mother, like daughter. Food. Thank you, Mama. A big fool, that is what you are. Thank you. This is exactly what your father did to your mother that made her to die of high BP. You think you can do it to my daughter and you go scot free? Mama, Mama, please, please! Don't bring my mother into this. Don't do it! Oh, we all know about it and we have learned from it. So you cannot do anything like that to my daughter. I um, will respect you, Mama. Please go upstairs. Pack your bags and get out of my house. <laughs> Except if you bring the police into this place. I am not leaving to anywhere this night. Really? Yes. Shameless mother. Shameless daughter. That's what both of you are. Really, you are encouraging your daughter for cheating on her husband, right? Shameless. You are a fool. Thank you, mama. A very big Leave fool. my house. Look at the way you Back are. Back and leave. Shameless family. Get out of my way. Shameless people. Shameless idiot. Get out of my house. I don't want you anymore. You're going to leave. Leave. My daughter is not going to anywhere. She's not moving out of this house. She has come to stay. This is her house. It is you that we live. She has come. Oh, wait, she never questioned it. Can't walk him. I am here. Here, very, very much.
just to support her. Do you hear me? I will show you that I am Mary's mother. A wumpama. A wu, a wu Congo. If rock or hard. Look, let me tell you, you. If you make the mistake of removing a pin that is yours from this house, you will have me to contend with, let me tell you. Okay, Nania. Gosh. What have I become? How did I even get to this point? My life is falling apart. My mother-in-law just told me the story of my life. My father was a failure. And now she's likening me to him. Oh God. Imagine the mess I got myself into. How do I get out of this mess now? How? I can't confess to her. It's too late. It's too late and too dangerous to do. To do so now. She will use it as evidence to divorce me. And I can't... I can't lose her and the kids. I can't. My other brother has refused to help me talk to her. He said it is my mess, so I should clean it. Honestly, I was stupid. I was really stupid. I should have ended this nonsense the moment she came home that night and tried to plead. Now, now the situation is out of hand. It has gone beyond a simple matter of lying and accusing an innocent woman falsely just to cover my dirty life. Mr. and Mrs. Williams, thank you for welcoming me into your home. I'm glad that you people want to sort out this issue. So I'm here as requested. What exactly is the problem? Thank you, madam. Please, I want you to help me find out about this shit. Why she has been cheating on me all this while. I have given her love, care, attention, money, everything she asked for. I gave it to her. Please let me ask her why she's cheating on me. Mrs. Williams, thank you for welcoming me to your house. I'm glad you decided to try and sort out your marriage. I've heard from your husband, but it's best to hear from both sides. So I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, I'm always open to any meeting that will bring peace in the marriage. I want this problem to be solved, but obviously my husband here is the problem. Because I don't understand how he will connive with my best friend to lure me to a hotel and make it seem like I'm, I'm, I'm cheating on him. I connive with who? Your friend. Madam, please let me ask this cheat. What she was doing in the hotel by 11.30 p.m. Her kids were in the house sleeping. She went to see her boyfriend by 11.30 p.m. Let me ask her. I was there because your girlfriend lured me to, 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 to go there. And you know it! Enough, please. Enough. I'm begging you people. There is no need for all these arguments. You are a couple. Telling each other the truth is very important. Okay. We are here not to argue, but just to find out the truth. Simple. Please. And the truth is all I want. My informant told me that my wife has been cheating on me all this while, that she has a boyfriend. I didn't believe it. And he told me that there's a certain hotel where she goes to meet the boyfriend and they do their rubbish. What was she doing there? Yeah. The same That's the question that he is sleeping with. He's Sorry. having an affair with. Who is, how, who is my Williams. best friend? Mrs. Williams. Please, enough. Mr. Williams, do you have any evidence? Evidence? My evidence is, I told her I was traveling to Port Harcourt, just to deceive her. And then I hid somewhere. I went to that same hotel by 11.30 p.m. What was a married woman with two children doing in a hotel? Madam, sorry, yes. she doesn't have a ring. Ask her, this is my ring. I'm a married man, this is my ring. Where's her ring? She threw it away because she wants to cheat. 
Sleep around, frolicking around Mr. the old city. Mr. Williams. Sleeping with Mr. different Mr. men. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, you know what you told me earlier? This is very different from what you said oh, earlier. Madam. You said you wanted your wife back. Um, madam. Oh, he did? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said if she's willing Mr. to Williams. admit that she's cheated on me, I will forgive her. Of course, God forgives us. Why would I forgive her? I would That's not I do anything like that. I you would admit you? to something I did not do. I didn't admit to him. I didn't admit to him. Admit to him. Admit Admit it. to him. Admit to him. Admit to him. Admit to him. Admit to him. What were you doing there? Why are you talking about my wife? I don't take this from you. I won't take it. I won't take it. Mr. Williams. Yes. Run away. Get the conscious. You see, you see, you see this? It's okay. He's the one who is the cheat. So Having an affair with my best friend! Oh my this is what I have so to put sorry. up with in this house. So this sorry. rubbish! I am so sorry for all this. Hmm. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hmm. I can see that you have really upgraded this place. Yes, ma'am. For your information, I have bought this place from the landlord. This shop now belongs to me. I give you till the end of today to move out of this shop. What? What, Mama? Mama, Mama, please, I beg you. Please, I swear, I didn't do anything. Mary is accusing me wrongly. The 150 Naira that I left with you has turned to death. Hmm? If you calculate it, you will see that from that time till now, it has yielded enough interest, up to 1.5 million naira. I want it. Mama, Mama, please, please, I swear. Okay, 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 Mama, I agree. I agree, okay, I agree. I, I, I was interested in her husband, but now I, my interest has waned. And I swear I will never go close to him again, Mama. I swear with my life I will never go close to him again. Please, Mama, please don't do this. You made me your enemy the moment you chose to ruin my daughter's marriage. Mama, Mama, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Let me not meet you here later today. Mama. Do you hear me? Mama, please. Mama, 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 please think about it. Mama, I did not do anything. Mama, Mama, please. What is all this? I had so much fun with you. <laughs> it was amazing. It was. You know, every moment with you is always amazing. Mm -hmm. You're darling. Tell me about it. Hmm? Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. It's like a, it's going yes, 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 yes. And yes. can we do this all the time? We should. Come on, darling. Yeah. I, I enjoy every moment with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. Okay. Um, my wife. I need to pick, I need to pick the call. I have told you that whenever hey. you are with me, you don't take any other person's call, not even your wife. You don't do that. You do not respect me enough. Jesus Christ, what, what have I got to myself into?
you want to fall because of your phone. Right? You promised just man. <laughs> you want to die because of <laughs> Hey! May God have mercy on you. <laughs> Mom, why are you laughing out loud this morning? Ah, my darling, if I tell you why I'm laughing, eh? You will also join me in laughing. <laughs> Sorry if my laughter disturbed you. How are you? Dad. Yes, my love. Mom was laughing out loud, almost pulling the roof down with it. Come, darling. Um, I don't know why your mother was laughing, but I guess she remembered something very funny, that's why. <laughs> oh, Mom. What about morning prayers? We don't even go to church anymore. Um, you're right. I, I, I'm not feeling too well this morning, okay? So we can't go to church. And um, obviously, your dad has some business to take care of this morning. So he can't take us to church either. But what about morning prayers? At least we can do morning prayers together since it's Sunday. Yeah, you're right. I already started by reading my Bible. So I'll join you in your room, okay? Uh, my, my love, um, why don't you go to your room? Hmm? Daddy will join you shortly. Okay. Love you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because, because a, a, a girl is calling you. You wanted to fall and die and kill yourself. Rubbish. I haven't even forgiven you 100% and you are still trying to anger me. Really. I'm trying to anger you? Yes. Jesus Christ, what is... What is wrong with you? No, what is wrong with you? Jesus Christ, I gave you 500,000. Is that money? What else do you want me to do for you to forgive me? What? What? Oh! Hey, hey. Jesus Christ. Nice. I finally caught you right handed. I heard it clearly. You and this same girl. After? After everything? Why are you interrupting my business meeting with my business client? Client? Yes! Client? What is it? <laughs> okay then, you're going to explain that to Mary. Okay? I vowed that I was going to stalk you until I caught you red-handed and now I have caught you. What is wrong? Shut up! I'm not finished! Do you know that your mother-in-law is frustrating my life because of you? You! You that I don't even know if your rod is a pencil or a pencil. Hey, 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 stop embarrassing me, Felicia. What is your problem? Why are you embarrassing me in front of my client? I'm going to arrest you. Ah, oh, by all means, please arrest me. Arrest me so that I will be exonerated from this dangerous game you're playing. Do you know that I admitted to your mother-in-law that I'm having an affair with you just so she could let me have some peace? You what? I am not finished! She bought my shop and sacked me. Now I'm jobless, I don't have anything to do. Wait, you admitted what exactly? You would do the same if you were in my situation. She was tormenting my life. Hey, hey, listen to me. I want you to go back to her and tell her that you lied, okay? You lied! She didn't lie. You cheated on me, didn't you? Listen, you I, I, I really do you not care. Cheat. Shut up! I don't care how you guys are going to do it, eh? But now, I have my evidence. Is, I am going to take that to your house. Let go of me! I will take that to your house me, and your mother-in-law. This is life evidence. Let go of me! You what is wrong with you? Oh, what are you going to do? Why will you do I'm this? Calling the police. Why will you do? I'm calling the police right away. I'm please. calling the police right away. By all you means, call the police. Rubbish. Call the police. Let them arrest us, okay? What when we get there, this we will give our evidence to uh, our What is wrong right with this man? Okay? Please. You're not going anywhere. Jesus this Christ. is evidence. Uh, 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 I'll be arrested, yes, and I'll be exonerated because your wife will have access to such Jesus documents. Jesus all right? I will bring you. Tell her to leave me. I will not leave her. All right? What is wrong? I'm taking her this way to your house. What is wrong? And your wife's leave her alone. You're not going anywhere! Jesus Christ! Both of you, come back! Come back here! Come back here! You've turned my life! It's a miserable thing! Oh God, my life is so messed up! How do I get out of this mess? What do I do? She has promised me that she will never go close to your husband again. And you believed her? I will keep on squeezing her throat and make sure that she keeps to her words. <sighs> if he 
likes. Let him keep his face like the rock of Gibraltar. I have told you. Stay, Gidigbam. This is your house. Kochile. Okwena ani amiri. Kochile no. I just called your other brother when I was upstairs. I need to have a meeting with him. Hey, is that how you want it? Hey, it is okay. Ken will come. Mary, yeah. your side, your right side, your left side, your back, your front. Pochili, I think you are hearing me. You have done nothing wrong to this man. Mama, are you aware you are the reason she does not respect me in this house anymore? Are you aware? And she will not respect you because she has not done anything wrong to you. Okay. You know what, Mama? She's going to apologize to me with a big he goat and expensive brandy before I forgive her. <laughs> Bessie. <sighs> Very funny. You would have told us that you want to eat goat meat. We will understand. That is simple. But you see that apology. It's never going to happen. Continue. Continue supporting her, okay? We shall see the end of this. Instead for you to scold your daughter and punish her for the wrong she did, you need encouraging her. Have you seen both of you? Like mother, like daughter. Mother and daughter combination. Only God knows if those kids are mine. What? You are so you are such a despicable human being. You want to destroy your life by being so stupid. Eh? Anyway, I am not surprised. Your father did worse things to your mother before she died. So, it is not new to me. You can never do that to my own daughter. It is in your own lineage. Continue. Shame on you, Benson. Shame on your daughter, Mama. Shame on her. What was she doing in a hotel by 11.30? Is that a touch? Same on you! Because you and your girlfriend set her up! Look, let me tell you, your girlfriend has confessed to me that you who set her up. Do you hear me? Benson, do you hear me? She would never apologize for what she did not do. Eh, hey, Wumpa Ma! <laughs> your, daughter, your children are here. Uh-uh. Mama, what happened? Um, um, nothing. But you're crying. No, I'm not crying. Yeah, sit down, my um, dear. Something just entered my eyes. <laughs> I hope people are fine. It's not. Good. <laughs> cool. Did you get the full charge? Yes, honey. It, it was a mistake. Okay, and I'm very sorry about it. Dad drove out again. Please call him to get me some snacks. I can't eat this. No, that would be necessary, okay? Mom will fix something very fast for us. Alright, I know you're hungry, but please give me a few minutes. Okay? All right, why don't you go upstairs and change into your uh, house clothes? I'll fix up something real fast. All right? I just closed from work. I am at the bus stop. Come and pick me up. What sort of a question is that? I closed from work. I went to the bus stop. I can't find a bus. Come and pick me up. Hurry.
So this is the boss that you told me about. Oh my goodness. You, you startled me. You lied to me about your location. Why? Besides, who is this Finn and what are you doing with him in the hotel? He is my colleague. We came here for a meeting. A meeting? Yes. Benson, um, my... Oh, this is Sugar Daddy told me about. <laughs> Could he... Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet! Who gave you the permission to speak? Who? Listen to me carefully, young man. I want you to leave this place right now. Else I'll call the police on you. And I'll pay them to detain you for a month. You won't see sunlight. Now get out! Calm down. You know what? Kara, I'm done. I'm done with you. Don't ever call my line again. Don't call me again. Oh, so... You have been doing this with him, right? Yeah, you left me no choice. I mean, you cheated on me. And I cheated on you too. Now you know what it feels like to be cheated on. Right? Now, are you happy? Yeah. You happy with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I am. Listen, I don't ever want to see any man around you again. If I see anyone around you, I'll kill the person. Won't I get married? You will. When the time is right, I will know. And I will assess that man and know if he's good enough for you. Uh -huh. Then I'll give you the guy to get married to him. Am I understood? You are understood. Excuse me. Where are you going to? I have a meeting in time. You have to drop me off first. I need to go home. Take I me home. I just told you I have a meeting. My clients are waiting for me inside. And I said, tell your clients to wait because you have to drop me home. Capiche? Fine. I'll drop you off. You don't have a But call. if I ever see anyone around you, I swear I'll kill the person. Drop me off. I'm tired of it. If anyone comes around you, I'll kill that man. If I ever see any woman around you, any woman at all, I will kill that woman. Are we good? Are you talking to me like that? Are you talking to me like that? Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. Get into the car and drop me home. Okay. Mary. Sir? Your husband invited us here. He said you don't respect him. You insult him and you talk down on him anyhow. <laughs> So you've changed the narrative. I'm no longer cheating on you. I'm not disrespecting. Is a cheating wife not to disrespect one? Bia Wokim, I discussed with my sister. And she said you accused her of cheating. This is exactly what I want to know how it happened. I invited you to this meeting. And let me tell you the reason why I invited you. Is a cheating wife not a disrespectful one? Hmm? We cannot make any headway if we continue like this. Uncle, that is how they behave. That is how this family behave. Please. Just for her to admit that she's a cheat. And of course apologize. She wouldn't do it. She's claiming right on top of it. Ben Sin, I will not allow you to insult my family again. Remember, I'm still trying to forgive you for the insults you gave my mom. Do not push me. Don't forget you're in my house. I can throw you out in a second. And I will forget my phalanges on your face uncle, if you insult my family Uncle, what are you saying? I am res I'm respecting you, uncle. Oh, calm down. Um, Ken, my law, calm down. We're not here to fight. Mm. Benson, I'm going to ask you this. Did you and any other woman frame her up in order to throw her out? Uncle, that is the useless lie she fabricated to cover up her useless cheating lifestyle. Oh, that's a big lie. Uncle, he's lying because even the lady in question admitted to it and he even got to the point of denying being the father of my children. What? Denying the paternity of the kids? This is serious. When a wife is a cheat, there's every tendency that the baby of those or the kids of that, of that, that husband are, are not his. There's every tendency. And that's why I stand, Uncle. Biyamuki, how are we sure that you don't have kids from different women out there? Because this is exactly the characteristics of cheats like you. Benson, do you have any proof? Uncle, that is why I opted for a DNA test. But this woman here, this cheat, vehemently refused and rejected it. I refused what? Yes, you what did! did you ask me? He didn't ask me, Uncle. My He's daughter, lying! Calm down. My daughter, calm down. This is a serious allegation. DNA is a science. They can manipulate it. Kids. Children are being swapped in the hospitals. We are going to the shrine 
That is where we will solve this kind of thing. I see, I see. I see, I see, Ajuru Maju. If there is anybody here who needs to go to any shrine, then it is this shit here. God will punish you. You and your generation, your family, useless cheats. God will punish all of you. It will not be well with you. You are mad. Person, we need to talk. About what exactly? The only thing I want to hear from you is you admitting and confessing that you are a cheat. I've decided to leave you. And I'm going with the kids. This, this environment has become so toxic that right now it's, it's, it's been so unhealthy for me to continue to live here. And don't worry about the kids. I, I'll tell them everything. I mean, they deserve to know what's going on. But I'll, I'll tell them your own side of the story. I mean, I want to protect the image they have of their wonderful dad. But you will not have access to them since you've doubted them being your kids. And I refuse for you to conduct a DNA test on my kids. You hear me? Go to court. Go to anywhere you want to go to. I will fight you with the last drop of my blood. You hear me? prayers. Well, we'll meet them break so we can pray together. And mom, why are you sleeping on the couch? Um, no particular reason, darling. Oh. So mom, lead the prayer. Before then, let me wish my darling son a happy birthday. I remember your birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, son. May God bless all your endeavors in Jesus' name. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. Happy birthday, my amazing son. God bless you. And keep you safe to become an amazing father tomorrow. God bless you. Mom, mm? the prayer. Oh, yes. Um, Ella, why don't you say a prayer for everyone? Okay, and please make it short. And because today is Sam's birthday, we have to pray to God to make to continue to make him a good boy and a good man when he grows up so that he doesn't act stupidly. So that when he gets married, he'll be a good husband to his wife. A sincere one at that. Okay, let's get started. In Jesus' name, amen. Mary, friend, I'm here to apologize. Look, I don't want to end up in prison for killing you. So leave my house. Mary, please now. I've not been myself since this whole thing started. Look, I admitted to having an affair with your husband under duress and coercion. Yes, your mother was squeezing the life out of me. I didn't do it. Honestly, I didn't. I just didn't have any other option than to lie, to save myself. Do you know, I even overheard her speaking to my landlady. Mary, please now, please save me, please. Felicia, you know, today's my son's birthday, right? And I'm baking a cake for him. So I don't want to get arrested on the same day I'm supposed to celebrate him. So please, take your field yourself and leave my house. Happy <laughs> birthday to your boy. Look. I even got Sam a birthday gift. Here. Oh, <laughs> as his stepmom to be. Uh -uh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Get out of my house! How dare you show yourself in this house after everything you've done to me? Mary, come on. I acted foolishly. I'm sorry. I apologize. I did not do it. Listen. Don't make See, me lose my temper. Finish here. Don't let me. Okay, okay, okay. Out. I will kick you out. How dare you show your face in my house after all you've done to me? This is not okay. Why can't you just listen to me? Listen to you? 
Damn you! Damn, I'll fight you! I hate everything about you! Get out! I'm gonna push you. Okay, I swear. Mary, wait, 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 wait. Well, would you, would you give this to your give boy? What? I give, I give what? Mary, come on, you. stop this! Get away from me! Okay, fine. Stupid! Fine. Get out! Fine, I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave! I'll leave, I'm leaving. Don't you dash your face in my house again, you hear me? Why are you blaming me, brother? Shut up, Benson. Whom am I supposed to blame? Myself? How could you deny the paternity of your children? What kind of silly point are you trying to score? To hurt your wife? To prove an infidelity you and I know didn't happen? You just ruined yourself. Go and apologize to her. If she lives with those children, I will end my relationship with you. What, what are you talking about? with something out there. Very important. Hey, my love. Daddy got you something special. Um, so we have to take this away and put what Daddy got for you. Hmm? It's beautiful. Hey, come here. Happy birthday. God bless you. God bless you, you're good. God, I love you so much. Summer boy, you know that home-baked cakes are usually the best, right? So I'll take this to the fridge and keep it there for you while I put the one I baked back there, right? Great? High five. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. We still need to cut the cake. <laughs> what? You threw the cake away? Yes. I threw the cake where it belongs. Throw the cake I bought for my beloved son away. Did you ever call him your son? He's not your son. You made that perfectly clear, right? And as for the gifts, I decide what my son collects and from whom. You hear me? And for your information, I'm popular in church now as the cheating wife. The pastor had to tell everyone in church why I was suspended from the choir and why I haven't been in church for a long time. Thanks to you, dear husband. You're winning. You are winning.
I finally made the decision and I'm not going back. I'm leaving him for good. I called a house agent to get me an apartment close to my kids' school so that I can be cl close to them, you know. I saved up some money from my writing business. Let me worry about that. And listen, you're wrong, okay? Writers are not broke people. Crush her? No, I'm not gonna do that. I won't. If Benson loved me, he would choose me over any other woman. Adultery that he can prove. He can't prove it. And if I admit to it, he's going to, 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 to take that proof and, and make my life a living hell. So no, I will not admit to anything because I didn't even do anything in the first place. If I leave, I will be the winner, okay? I will have my sanity back. The emotional torture, it, it will all end. I can walk on the streets with my head up high with joy in my heart. So yes, I will be the winner and they will be the losers. No, I haven't. Because I know she would dissuade me against this. All right, thank you so much. All right. Benson. Let me get this straight. Are you truly stalking me? Mary and I were the best of friends until... I have more important things to do than to listen to a frustrated single mother like you looking for a cute guy like me to touch you every day of your life. And I will never be desperate to the point of seeking the touch of a pathological liar like you. I need two seconds, man. Yeah, that's the worst you can do, right? Walk away. Walk away then. Listen to me. I will stalk you until I catch you red-handed. Okay? Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did? A relationship, a friendship that Mary and I struggled to build for years. You have destroyed in a matter of minutes. Look, you're going to kill me right here and now. You are an idiot. Okay? I lost my shop! I lost my best friend! Rubbish! What else do I have to lose? I've lost everything! Everything! What else is left? to take me to IZ Plaza. I'm having a meeting there and I'm famished. I need you to take me to Protein Hotel. I want to eat good food. Hurry! Just give me some minute. I'll be back.
Open the door for me. Open the door for me. Babe. Open the door. What is wrong with you? Why aren't you opening the door? I actually came here to tell you to your face. I'm done with you. <laughs> Just stop it. That joke wasn't funny. You are what? Done with you. No, you can't be. Like I'm going to tell your wife everything we ever did. You have a phone number. Please go ahead and call her. If you ever in your entire life call my number again, I'll call the police and tell them you're stalking and blackmailing me. Use Google. I'm sure you know how many years prison term comes with it. You call. No, I don't understand what you're saying. Open this door. It's clear. It's me, babe. 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 Are you for real? Open the. Fuck. What is. I'm here to say I'm sorry. You're, you're right. I have been the one lying to you all this while. I lied because I could not be at the shame. I lied because I was I suspected you would file for divorce and leave me. So that night at the bar, I was there drinking and hoping to go meet my mistress upstairs. Which, which was never Felicia. It wasn't Felicia. I was, I was so shocked. So shocked to see you there. And to, to save myself from the pain, the shame, the ridicule. It changed the story. It changed the storyline completely. you. Give me. Forgive me, please. And I was so scared. I was so scared of everything. I went, went for, went to see a counselor. And then fear stepped in again. I was so scared to lose it. So I ended the session that way. <laughs> Please forgive me. Forgive me. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was so, so scared. I didn't want you to file a divorce. And Felicia is the best friend anyone would wish for. She's been constantly fighting for you. Please, for the sake of our marriage, for the sake of our children, for the sake of the years we've, sp we've spent together, please don't leave on and be alone, I beg you. Please, baby. Please. 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 You are evil. Thank you. 
You are wicked. You're the most despicable man I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> you set me up. It was an insensual Made it seem like I was the cheating wife of you. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Because of you, everyone in this church made me a laughing stock. Because of you, I said so many horrible things to my best friend. I'm sorry. Because of you. I'm sorry. I will never forgive you. I will never forgive you, Benson. You know what? I want a divorce. Ah, oh, please, please. Period. Please, just help Get me. Out. Please, please. Oh. Alicia, I'm so sorry, Felicia. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Hey, hey, I'm so sorry, friend. my dear friend. No, no, you stop it. It's okay. Get up. Up, up on your feet. It's, it's all right. So I'm so Listen, sorry for everything. It's fine. He told me everything. At least now we know the truth of what happened that evening. It's okay. I was waiting down here because I knew you would want to take a walk, leave him. But the thing is, he has actually broken up with her. Yes, we came home together. She called him, he went to her and ended it. Mary, he's now a repentant man. And trust me, we'll be in bondage if we don't forgive him. Yeah. Thank you for everything. You're such a wonderful friend. I know I am. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Come on now. Don't cry. Don't Thank cry. you for everything. Don't cry. It's fine. <laughs> What you stand to gain and what you stand to lose 